Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss Timolol. What is this drug Timolol? The suffix olol indicates this is one of the beta adrenergic blocker. And this Timolol can be used as Timolol maleate. And this drug is available as ophthalmic solution. That's why Timolol is a sympatholytic, but it is a non-selective sympatholytic. It can block both beta-1 adrenergic receptors as well as beta-2 adrenergic receptors. Normally, sympathetic system can act on the heart so that it can produce a cardiac contraction, which works through the beta-1 receptors. Similarly, it can act on the various smooth muscles, including the eye, where beta-2 receptors are more important, and sympathetic system produces a relaxation of these beta-2 receptors. Now, Timolol maleate is one of the drugs which can be used as ophthalmic solution, but still it can act on the heart, thereby it can block the beta-1 receptors. Similarly, it can block various smooth muscles such as beta-2 receptors located on the eye, which reduce the intraocular pressure. That's why Timolol maleate is indicated for the management of glaucoma, which is associated with increased intraocular pressure. So, Timolol can reduce this intraocular pressure by reducing the formation of aqueous humor. Similarly, this can also reduce the blood pressure, so it can be used in the treatment of ocular hypertension, where the blood pressure within the eye can be reduced to prevent blurred vision and loss of vision. So today in this video, we are going to see how this Timolol acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. Now let us see how this drug acts. Timolol acts on the adrenergic neurons which are supplying to the eye, which are equipped with norepinephrine mediator. So on the postsynaptic adrenergic neurons, beta-2 receptors are present. When this norepinephrine is released, it can act on the beta-2 receptors, resulting in the activation of postsynaptic neurons. These neurons are supplying to the eye, where they can produce the aqueous humor, which is responsible for lubrication of the eye. But in the patients with glaucoma, this aqueous humor is more produced, or it less clear, which results in the increased intraocular pressure within the anterior chamber of the eye. In such situations, Timolol maleate can be used. It can block the beta-2 receptors present on the adrenergic neurons, thereby it can inhibit the postsynaptic activity, which results in the decreased formation of aqueous humor, thereby it can reduce intraocular pressure. In this way, Timolol maleate can be used in the treatment of glaucoma and as this drug is going to block beta-1 receptors which reduce the heart rate and cardiac output that leads to decrease in the blood pressure. So, Timolol maleate can also be used in the treatment of ocular hypertension. Now, let us see the precautions of this drug. One of the important precautions is that Timolol maleate is a non-selective beta blocker. So, it can act on the other smooth muscles where beta-2 receptors are located. So, this drug can block the beta-2 receptors located on the bronchial smooth muscle, resulting in the bronchospasm. So, this drug should be carefully given in the patients with any bronchospasm. And in the patients with asthma or COPD, this drug is contraindicated. Similarly, this drug can increase the muscle weakness in the patients, which may result in the double vision, diplopia, and some fatigue can be observed. So, this drug should be carefully given, and this may also increase the symptoms of myasthenia gravis. So, if patient is already having any muscle weakness, then this drug should be carefully used. Similarly, Timolol maleate can increase the allergic response. As this drug is going to increase the histamine release from the mast cells, the allergic response can be increased by Timolol. And this drug can also reduce the cerebral blood flow. Finally, this drug may mask the hypoglycemia produced in the diabetic patients who are taking insulin or anti-diabetic agents. So, in such patients, Timolol maleate should be carefully used. What are the side effects? The side effects of Timolol maleate are mainly the local reactions. It can produce some burning sensation, stinging, and it can also produce some blurred vision, headache, hypotension. It can produce some allergy resulting in itching. Decreased visual acuity can be observed with this Timolol maleate. And it can also increase the risk of formation of cataracts. Finally, it can produce some insomnia lack of sleep and muscle weakness can be produced by this drug. Now, let us the chemical nature of this drug. So, this is the structure of Timolol. Here we can observe it is having the propanol amine moiety. Let us give the numbering. So, this is 1, 2, 3. So, simply we can write the suffix as propane 2 all. 
and at the first position it is having the amine moiety with tertiary butyl group. So we can simply write one dash tertiary butyl amino. Similarly, at the third position it is having the oxy group three oxy. This oxy group is attached to heterocyclic ring system with two nitrogens and one sulfur. That is nothing but one two five thiadiazole which is attached by third position. So we can write this as 1,2,5-thiodizole-3-ile. And at the fourth position, it is having the morpholine ring system. So 4-morpholino-4-ile. That is the complete name of Timolol. How it is given? This drug is available as eye drops at a strength of 0.5%. So this drug can be given at a dose of single drop given once daily particularly at the morning on the affected eye so that you can reduce the intraocular pressure as well as you can reduce the blood pressure within the eye. So that's about this drug Timolol Maliate which is a ophthalmic solution indicated for the treatment of glaucoma as well as ocular hypertension. But since this drug is a non-selective beta blocker it can affect the heart resulting in the decreased heart rate, decreased cardiac output and it can also increase the risk of cardiac failure. It can also act on the bronchial smooth muscle resulting in the bronchospasm. It can produce the muscle weakness. It can increase the allergic response. It can also mask the hypoglycemia in the diabetic patients. Finally, it can reduce the cerebral blood flow. All these points should be considered when the stimulol malleate is prescribed to the patients. Local eye reactions are the important side effects produced by the stimulol malleate. So that's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.